Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about fractions. Now, before you go to the next video, because you're insulted by the thought of reviewing fractions, uh, you might want to stick around, because uh, by the end of this set of videos, uh, you'll be saying, oh yeah, I forgot how to do that. So, uh, so don't go away. Uh, but in this first video, we're just going to talk a little bit about vocabulary. Um, so here's an example of a fraction. Two-thirds. The top number there, it's got a name, it's called the numerator. That bottom number there, it's called the denominator. And what this fraction means, uh, two gives you the number of pieces that you have in a whole. Three means the number of total pieces in the whole. So that probably sounds a little bit confusing. Let's think about it like this. You have this funny looking pie, and if I had drawn it correctly, uh, I would have three equal pieces. Uh, but what if uh, somebody takes one of those pieces and eats a piece of that delicious pie, and you only have two left? Well, what you have there is two pieces, two equal pieces, and there are three possible. So what you have is you have two thirds of a pie. Um, there are different types of fractions. Uh, there are fractions called improper fractions, there are fractions called proper fractions, and there are mixed numbers. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about that. Um, proper fraction. A proper fraction, uh, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So for example, uh, 2 thirds is a proper fraction. Also, 4 fifths, 1 eighth, and uh, let's say three tenths. Those are all proper fractions because the numerator in each case is smaller than the denominator. There are also improper fractions. Improper fractions. Now in an improper fraction, the numerator is bigger than or it's equal to the denominator. So uh, you could flip that last one around, five fourths. Uh, that is an improper fraction. Also, um, I don't know, 5 thirds is an improper fraction. 15 fifteenths is an improper fraction because the numerator and denominator are equal. Uh, in each case, the numerator is bigger than or it's equal to the denominator. So in each case, you have an improper fraction. Uh, there are also things called mixed numbers. An example of a mixed number would be something like this. It has a whole number, the 3 is a whole number, and over here it has a proper fraction, proper fraction. And in this case, this mixed number is read 3 and a half. 